Hi guys, it's Becky at Babes in Hairland. We're back today with a cute peekaboo French braid hairstyle. But in case you noticed last week we didn't post a video, that was because we had shared a post on tips and tricks on how to care for your daughter's curly hair. So if you have curly hair at your house, be sure to check out that post for some advice and tips. But for today's hairstyle, up here on the top of the head, you're going to need to divide out a rectangular, long rectangular section of hair on the crown. Then combine all the rest of the hair for a bit down below in elastic just to keep it out of the way. Um, so you're going to start up here near the forehead, divide out a tiny little section of hair and divide it into three pieces because you're going to be making a Dutch fridge braid. So that's when you pass the hair underneath rather than over or on top. So I've done one um, stitch of the braid and then I'm going to add hair as I've crossed it under. So I will pass the hair underneath first and then I add hair as I go. And you're going to want to do little pieces to make this be um, more intricate, I guess, or have more to the braid than just a few chunky sections. And I do find having her hair wet helps with this as well. Um, be sure to keep your hands close to the scalp. That also will keep this braid nice and tight. If you pull your hands up and away, it tends to make it poofier and have bubbles and things. So keep those hands close to the head for a nice tight Dutch braid. And then we're going to speed the majority of this up, assuming you know how to Dutch braid. If you don't, I will link something here um, and as well in the description box below. So just continue adding hair until you run out of hair from that section that you divided out. It's really important that you don't add more than you already had out. That's why I secured it all below in an elastic to kind of keep it out of the way. It kind of got messy there on the bottom, but that doesn't matter at this point. Um, I guess you could pancake your braid, but I wanted it rather tight. So once you can't add hair anymore, just simply braid a regular braid all the way uh, down to the end. Water helps with those flyaways as well. And once you reach the end, then simply secure the end with an, an elastic. I was using clear elastics from Goody. Uh, those are my favorite ones that uh, we use. Okay, so once you've got your hair um, all braided there in that little row down the center, this is what it should look like and they're secured on, on the end. Next, you're gonna move over here and uh, on the left side and the right side above the ear. It's kind of like you're gonna be making a half ponytail, but you don't want to include the braid in this. So again, water helps uh, with her flyaways and wispy hair. I wanted this nice and tight and clean so comb that until it is smooth and looks like you want and you're gonna want to be uh, fastening that half pony right on top of your braid so make sure all of that is centered she puts her hands down there that helps keep the hair down and it doesn't pull up into my elastic so at this point you could really leave the hairstyle if you wanted but we were gonna take it a step further and add some elastics to that ponytail couple inches down from the first elastic, poke a hole in the middle there or you could use a topsy tail and pull that braid up and through and then you can make these little bubble ponytails as wide and stretched out as you'd like but we just barely tugged on them. Add a second elastic, a couple inches below the last one. Again poke a hole in the middle between the elastics now this time pull it so the braid is underneath. So this is kind of your peekaboo um, woven braid through these little puff ponytails as well as it peeking out the top there. So go down as far as you can um, depending on the length of hair you're working with and for the very last one just secure the um, ponytail and your braid together so that it doesn't um, separate. And here is a finished look at the hairstyle. Totally cute and fun. Just keeps the hair up and out of the way but is still down and back and it has that braid that pops through um, the straight hair, which looks kind of cool too. So I hope you like this one. Please comment, let us know what you think, and we will see you next time. Thanks, bye-bye.